Hello, you wonderful people. For today's video, I'm going to talk about the Cartoon Network original series, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like always, this isn't a review, it's just me talking about a series that I really like that I recommend you check out for yourself. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is an animated comedy that follows the title characters, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, as they come up with different schemes, trying to scheme money away from the local kids of the cul-de-sac so they could get money mainly for the purposes of buying jawbreakers. First you have Ed, who's pretty much the tall, dumb muscle of the group. You have the other Ed, most commonly known as Double D, who kind of works as the brains of the operation. And then finally you have Eddie, the short-tempered sort of leader of the group. Usually any scheme has him at the heart of it. The other characters in the series are the other children that live in a cul-de-sac who fall victim to the Ed schemes. There's also the Canker sisters who live in the trailer parks as well. Interestingly enough, each one of the Cankers is in love with one of the Eds. A very unique aspect about this series is that outside of the Eds, as well as the other kids in the cul-de-sac, as well as the Canker sisters, there aren't any other characters. No other kids, as well as you never see any adults. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are occasions where you'll catch glimpses, like maybe a shadow of one of their parents, like, you know, on a wall. Or and there's even one case where, like... The Eds got in trouble and you saw their parents like arms reaching out and grabbing and dragging them away. That's to that fullest extent. Other than that, you've seen, you see Eddie's brother in the series one time. Whereas in most series you might have extra characters, you know, who might just, you know, might not say anything but they'll be walking in the background and there's nothing like that. Another very interesting thing about this series is the fact is that the entire series takes place pretty much in the cul-de-sac. I mean, you, there are occasions where you see them in the trailer parks or out in the woods, but you know, more often than not, it takes place purely in a cul-de-sac. With the exception of the final season where you actually see them in a school environment, as well as the final episode because they kind of go on a sort of adventure in the final episode and they go beyond the cul-de-sac and they go beyond their school to kind of branch out and show you the world outside of the cul-de-sac. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is just an overall awesome show. It will make you laugh. I mean, it is more so tailored towards kids, but I feel like even people who are older can appreciate some of the humor in it. Ed, Ed, and Eddie ended a couple years ago with a grand total of 131 episodes, or rather 131 segments, spanned across six seasons. I'm pretty sure that's including any kind of specials as well as the final episode, which was formatted into like a two or hour long movie. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, share the video, subscribe, to the channel for much much more like always see the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye nice job loser